guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to use an action a behavior action called execute an action on a set of rows so normally this action this type of action is a data type and usually used when you wanted to update a table using another table so in this example of my application i wanted to update this table one using the values of table two so in this case we have to use the execute an action on a set of rows so in executed action there are points here that you need to consider first is for a record of this table so for the record of this table, this is, this is where you will execute the action. So in this example, since I wanted to do a changes in table 1, then table 2 is our record of this table. So this is the where we're going to trigger the action. And then reference table, this is where you will execute or you will update the table. So this table one, since I wanted to update in this table, so this table one goes to here. So this is table one, and this is table number two. Okay, so reference row. So the reference row, whatever is the row key in your row key in your table one which is the table that you wanted to update you can uh, usually use select only say select if you go to a data explorer so in table one the the row key is room number so i'm gonna just select table one room number and then this row that row num uh, row number is equals to room number so that's how we 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 use the reference row action then right here i'm gonna just name this action let's say this is the trigger action This is the trigger action then here in the reference action we have to create a reference action so the reference action is we need to create so for the meantime I will just add this we need to create a reference uh, action in table number one since we wanted to update the table number one status so we need to create an action for that so new action so new action, you have to select set the value columns of this row. Let's say this is update status. Okay. So here, since I wanted to update the status in table number one, then I have to put an expression here. So you can put by simply by placing a text. Let's say status is vacant. You can do like that. Or if you want a complex formula, you can do as well. So let's say I'm going to use a, a formula here. So I'm going to use, uh, let's say, lookup. So I'm going to look up um, this row that, or sorry, I'm going to use maybe select. Yeah, I'm going to use select uh, table number two. So I'm going to select the status and uh, I'm going to use and then let's say room number. Oh, sorry, the table to the key column is ID. ID is equals to, I'm going to remove the and. Let's say I'm going to use this 
So you can apply always here a different expression. So max max row, let's say max row max row the table name is table two then row number then max row is always comes with the filter condition so this row that room number is equals to room number so you can apply your own uh, expression here in this example i'm gonna use this all right, so I'm gonna select the table number two, the status, the highest row, which is in table two, where in room number is equals to room number. Then I'm gonna just hide this, do not display. Let's go back to our execute an action. So the execute an action, it's always comes with reference action. So we created the reference action and that's it. Appearance, do not display. Okay, so this is the table two we wanted to trigger. And then table one is the table that we need to update. And then this reference action, I mean reference row is should be um, as per table one and then the Update status is the reference action that we created in table one. And then the next thing we're going to do is how we're going to trigger this. You can trigger this using automation or you can trigger this via form save. So in this example, I'm going to trigger this in form save. Here, I'm going to use behavior. Then here we have trigger action, then save. So that's how to use the execute an action on a set of rows we're gonna try if this expression if this um, behavior works all right so let's say i'm gonna update 1004 using table 4 currently it's vacant so let's say i'm gonna use this status let's say i'm gonna put it as occupied room number is 1004 check it did it today and i will save as you can see in table number two it's showing status in table number one, it should also, I mean, in table number two, it's showing occupied and also change the value here. So if I update this, let's say I'm going to edit this. I'm going to just keep it vacant. Then there as well, it's also changed to, if you go to table one, change to vacant and as well. If I add a new one, let's say same same room number, let's say I'm going to put it occupied, it also changed there. So table two showing it's occupied and it's showing also occupied here. So that's how to use the execute an action and the set of rows if you have any confusion about this action. So just to summarize, so this is the for the record of this table, this is where you're gonna trigger the action. So we're in, this is in the example, it's in table two. And reference table is where you're gonna, which table you wanted to update. Then reference row is using select expression. What is the key column in that, in that table that you wanted to update? So in this case, it's a room number. So you can just simply use the select expression or you can use filter as well or any um, any least expression you can use as in this case but usually it's used by select so it's table one room number this room number is supposed to room number since room number is the key column then reference action is update the status okay but before you do this you have to use an execute an action you need first to create a reference action which is we already created in the table once just to update the status okay so if you learn something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any questions thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video